family's never been defined in this guy's head as what you were born into, but it's more huh, who you go to war with every day. It's who's got your back. You know, whose dinner table are you welcome at? And uh, who's gonna help you stand up when you fall down? Who do you wanna go help stand up when they fall down? And that's family to me. I'd say the overall work culture at Fratco is pretty straightforward. Um, people come in with an open mind every day and they just, they do what has to get done every day and they're gonna be there and either wait until the job's done or help someone get the job done. Employees and customers aren't just a number. They know at any time that their, their voice will be heard and I've learned from watching my dad be a, a good leader, really how to, how to treat people and uh, not, not how to please people, but how to treat them and be fair and be respectful and understanding towards them as they are to you. It makes me proud that the momentum's still going strong. Um, I want nothing more than to be able to keep the ball rolling and keep on doing what we're doing and taking care of people. Well, that's what makes you work hard and that's what makes you enjoy what you're doing because you got this little town of a thousand people and you know everybody and they know you and uh, the hardest thing is uh, I had a lot of employees that were there for decades and decades and you know you, uh, you dance at their weddings and you cry at their funerals and some of them you play taps for and uh, that's why it's difficult to talk about them. I consider all of them family, just like I considered my customers my family too. There was a plethora of customers that I felt that close to because I, I, I did they, I did what they needed before they needed it because we prided ourselves in, in not just quality, but the service part of things. And that's what made it so fun. Because you weren't just doing something for a guy just to get his money. So. I don't think you uh, survive a hundred years in any business without having good, solid relationships with your employees and with your customers. Uh, so the biggest reason we're a hundred years old and we've, we've survived this hundred years and thrived in it is we have relationships with our employees. We have some employees that are multi-generational with us. We have customers that are multi-generational and we have relationships with them. And I, I knew their kids and I know them and I know their parents. And that's uh, just so much fun. We're just blessed that this has worked and I think it's the people factor for us. And it's because everybody here, you know, past, present and future has contributed in their own way and they're all so important to the story.